Hey everyone, episode two is here. I'm so happy they don't have us waiting months in between episodes. And it's just gonna be weekly. That's so much easier. I guess it's only three episodes, but. Uh, upon editing the last video of this, I kind of noticed that both of the twins have different memories sometimes, like with the Tessa thing. It seemed like there were some variations on what exactly happened, so. Once upon an ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. I mean, in general, don't like, people have different memories from each other for the same events. Like Blamed witness darkness, testimonies and stuff are always Brother like, Goblin different. was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Memory's weird. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Hey, look at these snotty ass <laughs> animals. You want to delve into my trauma this and past? Fuck you. The goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Damn it! I wanted moose therapy. <gasps> what the? There's the dark hunter or whatever. Who is? Is that like the mental? Is it just like? Is it symbolism? Is it a real hallucination? Allison, what did you do? <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Oh, I thought it was lettuce. So I was like, uh. I don't know why it would be, but they turned Without mom a into word, a pie. Oh. She went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. We didn't know about the cannibalism. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself Damn, in this mom world, with the hoops? Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. Mom, you should make an OnlyFans. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. Your story sucks, you, stupid mom. bitch. Damn. Not me. Oh! Just kidding. Love oh. you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Pistachio ice cream is good. You're banned. <laughs> Ollie? Double ice cream. Mom already gave you four fucking scoops. Calm down. Mint ice cream. Oh, what a oh. waste. They left the ice cream out. Oh my god. Allison! Ollie! What Allison, she, help! What is she doing? Oh shit, grab the scissors. I should have brought the ice cream.
for some reason this like made the Arthur theme song go through my head. Wait, did she like? It didn't even show her stabbing. But we saw it from. I killed mom. I killed her. This vision. Or that just shows her like you know she you know she she doesn't fucking remember because it was so traumatic. I don't fucking know. What kind of fucked up episodes of Arthur did you watch? I have no idea. I don't know why it came to my mind. I don't know why that was like the weird thought in my head. You know when you ran, get random thoughts. I have no fucking idea. I should really mute the music because like all of Denmark is now banned on my YouTube. <laughs> From the last, just the last episode, not the whole channel. This is wholesome. Oh, they do a lot of frolicking. The song is nice. Can we like get competitive over who's taller and then fight? I feel like that's like a twin thing to do. I liked all the outfits. I mean, little turtleneck. It's the only questionable part, but it's okay. I love the hole in mom's back after. Dabbed. It'll be good for OnlyFans if she has holes other people don't have. Yeah, they don't have hair physics. Oh wait, look. Tyler's little um, bang moved a bit. I guess the hair moves a little. But maybe they just have it in the cutscenes. Yeah, I like the hap like the wholesome scenes too. I think Life is Strange hey. would have too would have benefited a lot. You doing from, all right? From more. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know. And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. <laughs> right, I uh, need their hair spray. Can't we just have coffee instead? No, on your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Oh, wait, they do have hair physics. Her hair was freaking Mint out in the chip, first game. Two gallons. Let's do this. They like glitched out on the boat real quick. Damn. We're looking good. Goblin faces keep. Dollar sign is looking good. Part sell, one. And trash can as well. Looking trash. good. Part By two. By the way, I we both out look good. In the bathroom this morning. We can't but I lose. Left to the toilet. How very generous of you. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, 
That oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. <gasps> Dumpin' cake. I'll have to make it on a live stream and ruin it, probably. What did that say? Place sticky note. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The trash one? You're doing a great job. Good job, uh, Tyler. Thanks. You're doing so good. Oh my god. You hungry? We have a whole lot. Where's of the nothing. fucking ice cream? Uh, I was hoping we'll maybe bring you could our make memories me one back. of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Ugh, why'd you have to remind me of that? Yum. I don't know how you ate that stuff. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Ooh. Mm -mm. So good. What? What is wrong with you? What is that? I forgot what I was doing. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Um, keeps sell. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Fucking Facebook Marketplace, that shit. Oh, oh God. That's, what's that smell? It's my ass, thanks. Oh, Fucking what bitch. Smell? Rude. And what do you know? More stuff. The, the smell gave him a memory. But soft. What light through yonder? Oh, wait, it's just you. Clever, clever. Those paddles are pretty cool. Dibs. Dude, the paddles are pretty cool. <gasps> Beer. Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Alley Belly Baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you, again, for the third time today. How dare you judge my tea party? We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, hell no, we're oh, selling this idea. shit. Except for maybe one or two? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler, how does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping, jumping on, on the bed. bed. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? So long, trusty bunk beds. I mean, give it, give it, paint the fucking bunk bed. It's looking a little rough. I mean, I guess you just sell it for cheaper. Congratulations, you found the map that will lead you with no mishap. Follow my trails of twinkling stones and perchance you'll escape the unknown. <gasps> Is that actually a map? All right, what's going on here? I don't think the memory's in here. Nope. Dear Sally, how are you? I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I'm writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend, Baloney, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Kind regards, Allison. Dear Allison, thanks so much for the invitation. Everything is good here too. No bears in sight though. Uh, oh, beavers in sight though. I will be there at 4.15 because I need to make sure to feed the birds or mom will go crazy. See you soon. We looked at this, huh? No. To Ollie from Allison, others may not understand the laughs we have together and love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has goblin. <laughs> goblin has a twin. Wait, goblin has a twin. I love you. Happy Siblings Day. Why is the word goblin so weird? Where's the goddamn memory? Are they on the ceiling? It's not in here. Oh, look at that. So they had a pretty nice furniture set. No 
something oh, on it's the just back. that. I, I saw that. Or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? No monkeys jumping, swear. Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Is Mom's not here to stop me this time. I'm jumping over. No, I'm okay. Thank you. God. He scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Memory. Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Oh, look nice. at Sam. A skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. He's so... If he's Sam not Kansky. Dickie Mom, he so wants to. Kind. I remember being super impressed by him. And it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. He was like doing things around the house. I mean, people are just nice too, I guess. But what, has he been getting the painting done? Because it still looks fucked up. Why does the house still look fucked up? Allison, Sam said he was gonna fix shit. I asked shit. you to clean up the coffee table three times already. Where's my <sighs> free labor? Oops, I forgot. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. Thanks. Wow, we stand a supportive right. sister. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. I'm a big ass fish. Keep that one. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile, like Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant How move, Ronan. How do you Ronan. spill that much? What did you do, you devil child? Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Okay, bitch, but eggs fucking smell after a while. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Um, I mean, I don't know, do if I? If there's anything you want, speak now. <laughs> I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. 
All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. What armchair? Oh, this one? I can't see it. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Um, where's Cell? Audio, super comfy chair. Oh and God, not these things. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. Everyone no try protest it. here. Everyone I think try I have it. permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Oh, one more for good luck. Are you gonna Whoa. keep doing it? Yes, I am. Fuck you. I'm gonna keep doing it. See if you respond anymore. <sighs> yes, you are. How many can we get? Having fun, are we? I'm having a blast. This is getting utterly ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Funny. You can't ignore me. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Stop me. Stop me now. You got to see if there's like, I bet you have to keep doing it. I bet there's some kind of achievement. But I can't do it anymore. I was being brainwashed. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Put your hand in it. Now, I want to see the horse figure. It's the one I destroyed. Go, do it. Where are you going? Memory. Memory Come me. On, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Who are you? Oh, that's mom. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Is it the, oh, it is geese in the game. I don't know if it's my real life because there's like 500 billion geese outside in my real life. They're loud as fuck too. Thought they were being extra loud today, but no, we're good. Oh no, don't get me started again. Why do they have that? I mean, this table kind of goes nice with like, this couch is built into the house, right? Yeah. It is. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. We have a lot of shit to do. I've been working for five minutes. What to do with this? So. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. What? What's this doing down here? <gasps> Is that hey, gum? Hey, free. You want oh, coffee? I guess that was probably me. Yes, I do want coffee. Where's the coffee at? But there's also things over here. <laughs> Sell it. I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor volcano. She was Poor in volcano. rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Yes, it would want tea or coffee. We just got started, so coffee. Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? Uh -huh. As in. Mm -hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. Oh. I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> Ghosts. The Ice King is sending us a warning.
There's like the random sounds and then the memory things come up. Uh. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. <gasps> Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. Y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins wow, Mom to help said your the plot, people they hurt instead? Your character Great development is shit. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. All right, in the kitchen drawer. Come check this out. I'm trying. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. That she was a was turd on the page? Alone. <laughs> but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. John a turd? So, if Marianne was <laughs> the princess, is. then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. All right. So there's the pious pelican is Tessa. The moose. Dan's got to be one of these. Who was fishing with them? It wasn't Dan, was it? It was a different guy. I can, I, I can notice him in the memory ghost form. <laughs> it was hard to tell. Um... Okay, I don't need this. I don't need the princess's party. I'm, I'm aware. How do I just choose the answer? I'm ready. I'm smart. <laughs> Who's Dan? I don't know who Dan is. I literally made that name up. I meant Sam. <laughs> Dan Schneider, no! I hope not, dear God. The moose teaches the goblins. Alright. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Who's <laughs> Dan? Um, oh, okay, so now I can do it. Uh, these people aren't Tessa. Is that Tessa? She's looking different to me. Mm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. Tessa. Okay, what? All right, swap. This needs to go on this side. I'm assuming it lines up with who's who. So swap. You go here. Actually, I need you to go on the other one. There. Mm, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, oh, there's Sam. There's Sam over there. He, I, th he's you done. The, he's a bear. The bear was the most helpful one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he was the bear. always around. See, Stop I know her. my people what? animal no. symbolisms. I mean, he was kind of always there. I still know there. their names. Lurking. 
And then there's fish person, whose name I do not recall. All right, that is correct. All right, I think I'm done. You sure? Bitch, I am sure. I'm an How expert. do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Oh, these over here? These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Justice? Yep. Totally Marianne. I think Why it's a princess? Just, I haven't though? looked at all these. Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. <laughs> Should we feel guilty for killing our mom or not, simulator? <laughs> Who that? Okay, well, memory. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! <laughs> yeah, go back to the forest! Get out of my fucking house! Get the shotgun! <laughs> uh I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? So Allison they saw him. Wait. It felt way too real. It was us. Pushing our imagination way too far. I feel like they mind connected with the mom and can see uh, like, great. I don't know. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Oh my god, Dan's here. Morning, Sam. You painting today? Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. What kind of supplies oh, we talking? Uh, also got something for you, Tyler. <gasps> What'd you get? I want a fucking present. Oh, shit. Damn. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. All right. Thanks, Sam. I'll forgive. Good. Good. Yeah. I, th I assumed he meant well. He was like oh, really helpful and to them. Before I forget, he's just ignorant. For the lady in the house. Oh, he did get a present. Uh. Um... That was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. I mean, I guess that's pretty nice. But I want a fucking blade. Uh, thanks. Kidding but me? We don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Look, do you think I don't have oh, people yeah. to stab? Fuse box is busted. I got two mags right here on <laughs> my desk. Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. What? What do you guys mean? Are you guys not like ready to defend yourselves? <laughs> What's everyone's favorite? What's everyone's defense weapon when you go out? Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. Damn, we should have brought us a gun. We don't have the shotgun anymore. Out here, like, what if there's a bear or like uh, a, a groper? Like, how do I, how am I supposed to stay safe? Hi, not even a tactical so, flashlight. Um, how's <laughs> school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh. Yeah, Outdoor studies, huh? Well, How big's this good dick? thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama.
You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that dark key. You always wanted a revolver, dude. That'd be sweet. Bop, bop, bop. More actually, a revolver would be like, bop, bop. <laughs> wait, wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can. Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. The door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... Yeah, Jess, Damn you're it. more of like no oh, shit. A tactical flashlight girl or like concealed carry girl. I don't know about a knife for you. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Dan, what the fuck? I thought you fixed this shit. Why am I doing this? He gave me the fucking food like Oh, here's for the woman. Like, bitch, why am I doing this? Oh my god, let me fucking... I don't want to do math today, are you shitting me? Alright, what's the math? Alright, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. The kitchen Could probably needs... The oh, maybe the water thing, heater needs the most. That's a lot of work for an old floor. I wrapped up your electrical board, I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 for the whole house. Okay. I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Okay. Thank you. So I just have to match. Shit. Oh. What's, what's what going on out okay. there? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just a bum knee. I wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? All right, that's got to be a 15. Wait, but that one's not even color coded correctly. No, till. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, I got hurt. Yeah. What's this one red? That's like a 30. Let's try this one. <laughs> Wait, no, come back. Well, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. Okay, bitch. That's a fire, just wait there. Well, just we're gonna have a fucking the fire also. then. I put this, why is that not correct then? Hmm. Seems good. What? Did I not do the yellow one? I swear I fucking did. <laughs> I matched the yellow one because it matched the wire. And now it works. I accidentally like, maybe I flicked my um, um, mouse bean thing too hard. The little rolly thing. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. It's okay, you can feel your emotions here. Bye. What was that about? What was he looking at? Like all the woodworking stuff? Damn, you want to be our stepdad or something? I don't fucking know. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Ew. Do not spill it on your shoes. I'm not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, the gun holder no thing. Point. Sure thing, B-boy. Damn, we need our shotgun back. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. How dare you? Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked out when he saw that gun. Remind me to take it down later. Maybe he thought he could, hey like, there, little stop boy. it or something. I don't know. Maybe he got Mom the gun. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can... Huh. Look at this. Oops. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. I mean, that's and pretty she could nice. Draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. The mom does do some really nice things. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Maybe he's who mom was trying to shoot at? Like, I don't think so. Why would he keep helping us? I mean, maybe he's just there for the drama, but like, <laughs> I don't know. He seems like he liked the mom. Like he's Found sad Mary about Stash. it. You never know. Ew. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Test this jar out right here. Those have definitely gone bad. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they always were. Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry, huh? Birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Maybe you want to Man, see look at Brown. Maybe. And Marianne. You're right. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. <gasps> Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. What am I walking to for the memory? Oh. Come on, it's gonna get infected. To. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Ooh, was Where Eddie dicking mom then? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. What? How could you oh. do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over okay, here, Here's Allison. the different memories. Right, what do you remember? How am I supposed to know who has better memory? I guess you could see if it fits like other clues. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Oh, Marianne. Oh. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. 
We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? The Christian lady was dicking mom. Dude, oh, you know in the email where it talked about like same uh, sex uh, attraction, like therapy, like Christian therapy. It was from the company that made the book if you looked in the email. I noticed that too when I was editing the last episode, so. Like, I definitely think she gave that to mom, the booklet. For the com Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Just shut the fuck up. Mary Ann. <laughs> Whatever you did. I'm sorry. Please just go. Do you snitch on mom? What did she do? How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Choose Tyler's memory. Choose Allison's memory. So like, I like was completely oblivious. I didn't see the choose Allison's memory. I don't know why I didn't notice that next time, last time. That's weird though. I wonder how much it really impacts the story. Get out. Get out. Drama. Anger. Anger. Get off my property right now. So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Pretty. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. <sighs> it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Park in the road, no one's coming. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? just in the area for a couple of days so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow oh uh, i'm not sure it'll be ready hon this guy is very motivated but i know he's looking at other properties and it's not like you've had people breaking down the door i appreciate that but we've kind of got a lot going on over here <sighs> did i mention it would be an all cash offer we love cash Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. Wait, but how much? I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Did this bitch not give me a number? What 
What's the cash to offer? Oh, whatever. What's over here? What? In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall. Oh my God, Balto! With an ice pick. Oh, no, it's not. Just kidding. Let's jump into the icy river. Twenty-five K and a bag of Cheetos. Hell that house is worth way more. I will take the bag of Cheetos though. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? <laughs> Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. It was the dog. But yeah, they said they were gonna come look at it, but at the same time she also said they had a cash offer. I mean, maybe they don't know what they're offering yet. But... Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Let's roll down the hill. I feel like I've been here before. It's pretty. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. I thought hot Cheetos was a given. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's okay. just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah? I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Sometimes they like seem so seem excited about moving to ditch on, all those and then friends sometimes and family, not. Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Because, like, yeah, sometimes they just seem so excited about, like, leaving and going to Juno, and then sometimes they're like, nah, nah. Sam, you're going to sulk all day? Eddie warned me about this. Oh, my God. Do we drop a mega nuke? Do we drop the mega nuke? Let's just casual nuke. Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. I know we picked your memory, Tyler. You won. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, okay, what? Uh. I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. Sorry, fixing my hair. <clears throat> 
I thought you, <laughs> we were all gonna be like roommates. I thought we were all moving in this, like nearly the same place. You feeling that tight? Yeah. Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> we're like using the voice, they were like ignoring each other, and then they just used the voice to talk, what? <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey. I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. <laughs> Wait, okay. can we even you ask him, right though? Call. I mean, we probably should have asked him. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. But, like, I'm don't we have to let people the see the house? But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. Just don't sell it. Just don't accept their offer, whatever it ends up being. So, I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. He tries to protect me from everything. <laughs> Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school, so he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And they'd all have to show up because you were the chief's daughter? Bingo. But then they'd remember that time oh, God both damn the bridges it. collapsed? I thought she was done. Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened, and Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island, but way colder. I like games where they repeat the interrupted lines from you doing whatever in the game. Like, GTA does a good... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it would suck not to have your thoughts to yourself. Have people creeping in. Hey, look what I found. Aha. Wow, that's I knew us. it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. I got don't tell the knife. You won't be able to stab effectively. What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Hot update. Where's my shotgun, bitch? So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? 
Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. <gasps> I'm Tyler now. Wilson. Bump, 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 bump. I don't know. Dark side. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Are they done? He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Can I click? Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Tyler! You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. Uh, right. Apparently, Eddie's not in a great mood, so what we said outside goes double. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Why do I have to press shift? <laughs> like, what's, can it just come up? Not great, honestly, but pretty soon it'll be over and I'll never have to come back. Wow, that was honest. Well, I hope it turns around for you. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh, oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were gonna be- uh, Chief Brown's taking a statement, but you might be able to days? snag him when he's done. That's optimistic. It feels like every time. Where's the snacks? Door, Where's my shotgun? Uh, yes. Oh my god, I fucking saw a missing kid, you guys. I fucking found a missing kid. I thought we'd have to rent a back home. It's just they had been found already and they were with their parents. Good. There was like a na on my neighborhood app, there's like someone posted that their kid went missing. And then the next morning I saw them walking. With a man, it's well, just the man was, I went and looked and they had been found, so. Well, but I actually like noticed, and granted, no the kid did the have a hunched back and everything, so it was, like, a little more noticeable than most, but, like, I know, I actually noticed the missing kid. Yes, she was. I always wondered I'll if I would, if it, I was in that situation. Her name and date of birth? Hey, what the Tyler fuck is your Brown. hair? Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, Does she welcome home. Most of the time? No, her father has primary custody because of my hours. Thanks. She's it's been a while. So, what brings you two around? We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, boy. <sighs> what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So, is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? No. Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. All right. Incident so report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. What's the drama? Chenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at 9. I was already running behind. Of course. Says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically Don't mind me. on call. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Well, morning, Chief Brown. Wow, excuse me, I was between Good morning, them. Tyler. Hey, could we <laughs> talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, 
Now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. Dude, there's literally I need dick to finish happening. taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. There's nothing happening. Oh, well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh my word, liar. There's like five other officers in here. As in oh, one. When he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Mr. Porter. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know, the archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? And the evidence, we'll so we can get our shotgun. Pull a fire alarm. No one's gonna know it was us. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Dude, Everything we could right? totally sneak. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Yeah, I'm trying Lake to water. shit things. You know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget oh. it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There Bring donuts. Uh, you know, Offer everyone right, donuts. About a fire we don't have donuts. Here. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't I go to the bathroom? There's no access to the first <laughs> Not to blow our cover. We need to find another way up. Because <laughs> now it definitely looks like we're just straight up lying. AM because someone vandalized your and there's this bathroom over here too. dispatched your home at 6.29 AM. All right, let's see. Yes. There, fire exit. <laughs> it opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? We are not making a scene in the police department. They'll probably be excited as fuck to lock us up again. Aren't cops like trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Are you serious, Allison? Oh my God. An allergic reaction. <laughs> um, hmm. If I played with this, oh, what's this? That pile of paperwork. What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. At least walk into it like straight up. <laughs> All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Okie doke. You head now? Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. I'm yeah, smoke I know. Some weed while you're at it. It's Your legal in Alaska, it. right? Maybe not in this year. Winter air. Okay, I'm by the door. <gasps> But what's this, Allison? There's a flyer. Be safe, not sorry. Dude, literally no one cares about illegal fireworks. No one. 
popping them off all the fucking time. So that mailbox bandit struck again, huh? <gasps> Apparently no. so. I will be guarding my mailbox if we had our shotgun. Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. <laughs> uh, is that supposed to be great? It totally is. Oh. Yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. What the fuck? Who's the artist? Cold case. Dude, what the fuck? Was that red warehouse part of the whole chicken farm business? You know it. There's no wind. Range now. Uh -oh. My God, the cops have locked people up. Expose it. Expose it. Sat. Why is that door moving? There's no wind. I think they just don't show the wind in the game. Oh, look at the snow. I mean, it's barely winded. You can hear it though. Sketchy. Very sketchy. stepfather it's like the chief nothing's fucking happening I mean, maybe to us who knows how old is brown 38 oh wow graduated really young youngest officer to ever join the dcpd if eddie catches us in here there's no turning back now or like adoptive dad so like was eddie dating the mom personnel files apartment budgets Zero case files. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. There's like a lot of like little relationships to keep track of in this game. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? Damn! I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. <laughs> Why did he keep this out? I mean, yeah, we get to find out for the story, but like, weird. Yeah, right? Why would he just have that out? Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. What? I'm not. <laughs> he can pay for it. I don't give a shit. The fuck? I was being punished. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. But we can make it our business, Allison. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Saying that here makes me feel even worse. Even though he the denied you going to art school, Crossing told you you got events? rejected. Okay. Huh? Oh yeah, the community social. He volunteered to help, and since he pretty much knows everyone, and more <coughs> importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Hey Eddie, I'm finding close your invitation for the annual social as usual. I've included a plus one on this chance that one day you'll use it. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Yeah, let's fuck with the sitting chart. Seating chart. Why does it say sitting chart? I mean, I guess, but like, I don't, seating chart sounds better. I 
You Where's finding the booze? Anything? Oh. There's some hidden booze here somewhere. Got him. Huh. The Dallas police force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Meh. Drug use. No. Robbery. I mean... Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan. Perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Oh my god, sandwich artist. Me too. I need a discharge. Slim pickings in Alaska, that's why mom was banging Uncle Eddie. Wait, wait, wait. The mom is the uncle? I mean, wait, no, the mom's banging the uncle. What? Are you sure you checked all the emails? <laughs> the mom. Wait, that was our uncle and our mom's lover? I don't. I looked at everything else and why don't you fucking look? Plot <laughs> twist, the mom is the uncle. <laughs> oh, I didn't open, I actually open this. I thought I did. <gasps> Our moose collectible. Huh. Hey, you. The stars. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. What if the uncle really is their father? I mean, maybe, maybe. I don't know what to expect. You never know. I looked at the com Do you have to look uh, at the computer by examining this? Nacho Mama, who pissed in her cereal this morning. What's happened? People, we are all adults here. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink better learn to clean after themselves or will personally stuff said culprit into the washer. Upcoming council meeting. Implicit bias training. Remember your presence is required. I need us all there to speak now. If you can't attend, and I'll reschedule. Uh, this is not punishment. It has nothing to do with the dismissal, dismissal of Randy Spears. We all can benefit from this discussion, no matter who we are. Huh. Dinner. Thomas Tom Eddie. invited Eddie over for dinner. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Okay, so yeah, that's the guy. We've seen the signs all over wanting to be mayor. Candidate from here. Tess and I would love to have you over for dinner on Thursday night. Oh, wait, that's Tessa's husband. We met him then. And I know you cannot say no to a roasted salmon. I didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. Looking forward to seeing you. Whoa, Ryan looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know, but there's a reference number. R68653. Regarding your request this morning about the Ronin case, it hasn't been digitized yet. So you can find the paper originals in the archives so other references about the case. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find the digitized calls through the appendix. Ooh! One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Literally where we said in the first place to go. I'm not your mama, but I sure am the uncle. Trying the tea. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then <laughs> yeah. how am I supposed I to open the, the like, door? I did the greasy fingerprints again. next to this room. I see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. All right, uh. Well? 
So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Okay. Notified by 2235 minutes. Uh, notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt of Accident 12 Canary Road, Dallas Crossing, blah, blah, blah. White female identified as Mary Ann Ronan. Falling over deck into lake, audio recorded tape. Like, do I have to write this stuff down? <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Located witnesses. Children of Marianne couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of patrol. J. Chan Brown. Coroner investigator T. Dickens arrived at scene. World Prince of Victim, Crime Lab, Tech Tully at scene, blah, blah, blah. Bullets recovered from location. Oh, there they recovered the shotgun. Where's my shotgun? <laughs> Let's get that from the room. Where's the evidence room? It's not gonna be in here. Let me put my light, see more. Marianne, personal information on rap sheet. Rap sheet. Oh, because we have to look through the storage. Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. What? I thought I clicked it too, but I clicked it from the other side of the table and it didn't do anything. I think it's because I was too far away. Um. Let's see. One stab wound. Left loin. Two degrees to assault. Scissors by daughter. Bloody froth seen in mouth and nose. Here you bullet edema. Waterlogged lungs. It's a three inch stab wound. Other conditions contributing but not related to the immediate cause of death. Homicide. Scissors, victim then fell over dock into freezing lake water. Okay. Okay, so that's just that. Toxical. Oh, she had alcohol. Positive for alcohol. What is screen? Okay, I could just. I don't know what that screen is. And now we have more things, so. Wait, can I like search that again? Wait, but why is it in? Okay, I got it now. I got it now. The other one's in this too. The other one I got, hopefully they're ready to do it. Why can't I search it again? Because I found two things. He was only searching for one. Let's do this. Okay, see, check that off. You can only do one at a time. So like now this one, it's the same box. Reference is 05R61889. No, it's not. There. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. On March 1st, around 2200, the victim, 41 year old white female, exited her home and entered her garage to start looting. Harasser, 3121 9 millimeter shotgun. Shortly after her child, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister. According to witness, when she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened uh, Tyler with a shotgun. 
Tyler fled the garage toward the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out onto the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, Allison came out of the house toward the dock where she observed Tyler under threat from Marianne defending themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At that time, both witnesses state uh, the mother lost consciousness, fell into the lake. Received a phone call, police received a phone call from, we don't know, I guess, since their name's redacted, detailing the incident. I'm assuming Tyler. Um, officer was dispatched to the scene. Upon arrival, they set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started attending to both juveniles. Officer Holt notified his partner, Officer Eddie Brown, by telephone of the incident before beginning dispatch to the scene. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene at 22.58 hours. They noted the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Cannery Road is a secluded road, mostly compromised of a few residential cottages. Detectives observed a loaded Rassler shotgun on the dock. No rounds had been discharged. They directed forensic personnel to recover items. You think they all be in one box, right? Come on now. Ronan said that she heard screaming when she was upstairs in her bedroom. She ran down the stairs and looked over the kitchen, saw her sibling and their mother, Marianne, on the docks. Marianne was threatening her child with a gun. Tyler tried to run away, but Marianne threatened and said she was going to shoot. According to both witnesses, she said, I'm going to kill you. Ronan then stabbed Marianne with a pair of scissors trying to escape, fell into the water unconscious. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Tell him you need to talk in his office. No. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I, I can hear you. It it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. She okay, lied about where the Where are you now? <laughs> home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Oh, we got that. Wait, did I get everything? Here. Thank God. 0501 com EBR. Okay. I need to <laughs> just assume we have out. a father. 0501 COM EBR. Wait, 05. There was no 05s over here. Oh, yeah, there was. And it's the one I want. Okay, here it is. Jesus, unbelievable. Allie, Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? Like child service. Oh, five R68 mesh. References 05 R68 MISC. No. Here we go. Huh. Why is that here? Concussion? Pressure in the head, headache, loss of consciousness. I, Tessa, Vecchi, Becky, hereby release, I believe, uh, wait, 
Ronin. It's like one of the Ronin's hospital records for concussion. Who? Is this Tessa's name? name came up? Search for her. Got something here. Tessa report theft report and child neglect report. Damn. There. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Um. Shoplifting. We <laughs> shoplifting from Tessa's store. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Date of action. Mary Ann entered Benny Vedi Vecchi. <laughs> oh my god. Owned by Thomas and Tessa. Say that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Becky states that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Uh, Becky report, informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Becky stated that after approximately five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Becky states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. She also stated she had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. She stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect they don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Uh, Becky believed it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring in the home. Wow! I need to get moving. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's oh coming no! Your way. Hide! Fucking hide! Get out. Uncle, I. We didn't mean I'm to. I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Oh, okay. I said move it! H hey! <laughs> Get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky, your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help. Right, her. he said he told us everything. Uh, um, it's gonna be like, it was for I'm not sure good. your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required 
by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. A snake pretending to care? To be her friend just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? True. I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. Damn, like, bring us some fucking soup over. What else was I over? supposed to do? <laughs> Give me some soup. Always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. Little moose. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. Um, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. I want my shotgun. Hi, Mel. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. Yeah, the I'm mom was really unstable. <laughs> like, when did they what call? I could have done different. <sighs> I know I made a big mistake with I think it was here. a few months before, like... And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father? I wish I could look well, the files again. They didn't give me enough time. Job. I've tried my best. Well. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. No. Dan will be my dad. Yo, do I get like some free, like a <laughs> get out of jail free card or something though? I'm open to getting there. Look, I got the little but symbol. It's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. <laughs> well, no, I really feel like an asshole for tossing that oh ring. God, don't mention You're it. You're kidding, right? Okay. Oh my I think God, it's a good why time would you mention that? Make our exit. Why would you say it? No. I wanted more time with the um, files. For it. We'll catch up later, yeah? Sure. You took all time to read the shit out loud? Yeah, but like, once I read read the child like uh, report, or like that they got reported, I want to know what date they were reported versus what date mother started going nutty. Because I'm thinking she started really losing it when that happened. I just want to know the date. I want to go back and look at the dates. I don't remember the damn dates. Place here in the slammer. Bro, I'm trying to be nice. I better get that hot jail out of free car. I better get my shotgun back from the evidence oh, room. I inherited I it from would. mom. They better give us mom's weed back if she had weed that they took away. I don't know what they have, but I want it. But like, wouldn't what they experience, yeah, CPS, like, story. Hey, you know the drill. Reaching out and stuff? Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Had a girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. You didn't have I'll your chocolates? You. <laughs> Can I have one? What up, flat top? You kids be careful out there, yeah? What is this? Oh my god, I thought that was blood in a bottle. Wait, wait, wait. No one's in here. I'm dispatched now. <laughs> Dude, they are not getting any calls. 
They probably loved when they were getting calls from our family. There was, was like something to do. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's Let's enough. Hire some Tyler. killers. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really, Chief Brown? Is it true? Is she? Oh my God, Ch children! I. Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Do we look okay, bitch? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> This has got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm going to do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up when I see a big old boat boost. I'm gonna steal some down. laundry detergent. Well, what do I do? Stripes candy? I grab my Never heard of it. The trunk and set my sights. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Yes, sir. Wait, you said you were near Chris. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. I am interested. <laughs> Man, bitch. You just can't stay away, huh? Man, Unfortunately, bitch. we're looking for Tessa again. She took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Doing some shopping? Yep, just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. So, uh, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not gonna report you, but it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Came to lecture you about your mooses! How dare you! How fucking dare you! Anyways. I'm gonna go up to someone in the grocery store, or like little shop like this, and be like, "We could use some of that." Them at about the you were working at the diner today. The Mises. No, I switched just because I wanted to get some sleep, but it turns out I was called to go to work at the store. Steal the ice cream. Michael, Michael, how do you always end up double booked? Because I'm too much of a what about double teamed? For the schedule. You're gonna work yourself to death, you know. No. Yeah, well. Oh man, I haven't had this cereal in forever. Security deposit is gonna be a bitch. Oh. On that Choco subject, cracks, we've cracks. got someone coming to check out the house in two days. Oh, yeah? Yep, and apparently he'd pay in cash. Holy shit. That's what I like to hear. So what have you two been up to today? We went by the police station. Found Marianne's file in the archives. Man, I feel kind of weird asking a follow-up to that, but, um, you know, if you need to talk about anything. <laughs> just 
going to talk shit about your boss. Turns out Tessa reported our mother to social services (laughs) with Chief Brown's help, of course. It's a messy, confusing situation all around, which is why we want to talk to Tessa. Ooh, let's lecture him about working for Satan. I'm sorry. How's Allison? She's dealing with it. We both are. You all right? Yeah, just clearing my head a bit before I talk to Tom. Now let's go talk to Tom. Tomothy! Where are you at? Come in! God has birds in the back. A fucking bird. <laughs> And the geese mean? earlier? My God. got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We Allison. can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Oh, I like, like would not let me go that way for a second. Hello, Tyler. I can I help made you? it. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, We were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. (coughs) Okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes Wait. after Brown was on his way out. What? Okay, sorry. Unlike the other games, like, this one doesn't get rid of the options you already selected. So, I, like, I just assume I haven't, like... Tessa like, reported Marianne to so social services. Clicking. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I-, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? What did your wife do? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, Yep. Yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, So, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Who our father might have been? Um, not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I'm 
Couldn't say. Excuse me, Timothy. I need my flonase. Uh, I. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Is hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. Oh yeah, I like when it's grayed out. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? A lot of games do that too. Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Well, they're dead. She should talk hey, to us instead. What. Why don't you guys help me close the store? And then we no. can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Oh, I bet you would like me to join you. And I think I will. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, unless you use PayPal, then it's the PayPal fee is All right. whatever. Already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Your job's not that hard. This is what I was talking about earlier, damn! I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, <laughs> tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Now where that asshole? Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Oh, the pasta? What about a chair? I want to investigate. Well, let's sit. They always have like thoughtful things when they tired sit. Tired already? Oh. Tired already? Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to sit yet. Is that the mangy muskrat? Collectible. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, yeah, I see it. Yikes, that's unsettling. Oh God. Timothy. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Are you pasta? <gasps> the little, oh my God, laundry Maybe detergent. Maybe I should pick we up should some for steal Allison. steal it to really piss Tessa off. I wonder what's in that box. Look on the shelf. All right, what are you, pasta? Hey. Hold on. Let me count this. One, two, three. There's uh, fourteen. There's fourteen cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Oh, it's just tomato okay. sauce. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. <laughs> that was easy. I'll I need speak you to that count language. The bleach for me. I know the basics. Bottles of bleach, all right. On it. What's in this little box? There's this bleach over here. It's either a detergent or bleach. Oh wait, down there. Yeah. Oh, there's like fucking six. 
Oh, six? I should, I should do All the right. count wrong. Oh, Not wait, but it'll fuck with his job. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Oh, your dick. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Okay, Nailed that it, right? Does not look like it is at all. Could have made us look way <laughs> the hotter. The proportions are way off. I wish my arms were that big. Uh, self-deprecating much? Your arms look good to me. Thanks. Whoa! I've been trying to hit the gym more, but weightlifting is the worst. Uh, amen. You should give dancing a try. Best workout there is, and well, there's always someone out dance? there who needs a partner. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker. I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep. One last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ow! Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Okay. Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. He wants us. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Do it, do bitch. Fucking do it, bitch. A what? Excuse me? <laughs> gotcha. Kill! Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I suck. I've got he a strategy. Got one. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. He got we'll the see. first hit when I was unaware. Ah. Who's letting their guard down now? One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Move. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, wow, the flirting is unreal. The thirstiness. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Where'd he go? Boom! Destroying me like what are these lies? Oh <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden right, arm. Let's make well, we'll out never now. make that mistake again in the back okay. room or in Tessa's I, I office need to finish Whatever this inventory thing real quick your sister's probably done already. Dude, don't think I'm her sister here Let's hit the bitches grotto the what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. It'd be the couch where oh. we make out. All right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. <laughs> oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, shit. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. Everyone's you giving us surprised. little gifts today. No, sorry. Wow. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Got a knife. Now we got a trout. Now some dick. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna sit here. Why would we sit here? You sit next to. Oh, whatever. So, 
You think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. <sighs> Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that, trust me. Being religious doesn't mean you gotta weaponize your religion against other people. That's a choice. Yeah, I hear you. You should stab her. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. All right, and I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me, so. Why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you, in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too you bad like, yourself. You like, stop this low-key flirting? Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. There we go. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm, fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly... Yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. We're not looking for the same thing, damn. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. Oh, you're the cat's God. pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Ugh. Or we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck, for real.
you look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? Can you bitch at them? They weren't that mean about it. <laughs> I like the dinging noises. Hey, graves are back that way. Oh. Well, excuse me. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Have you been back here at all since the funeral? No, I've never had a reason to, thankfully. All right, are we done talking? Okay. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Where's episode one? I have it on my YouTube channel and on but no Tessa. my Facebook page. Let's for her parents' grave. Just, to Just go back sure last week. Right You'll find the post. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Ben. Short and simple. I like it. Come on. There's only a handful left. Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while his face pops up. It's super weird. What's this? I got a nice one. Lost in the chaos oh. of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Resting place for our loved ones who have journeyed to the other shore. Ah, <gasps> <coughs> uh, this one. A snake? Anything? No, just a whole lot of nothing. Yazzie. Why does it sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. This might take a while. I like visiting, like, really, really old cemeteries. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Memory. Wait, where's the memory? Not sure. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. We really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. 
that's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Yo, can we get into here? Is there smoothies? I don't know why there would be smoothies, but like, if there was, that'd be cool. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Oh, Jesus, Come you on scared over. me. Make yourselves comfortable. I didn't <laughs> see him. Uh, I'm not sure if I should try to pronounce this. Man, I'm so rusty. <laughs> me whenever I ask there's someone new in the Facebook chat. So, how are you, um... You try oh, to no. keep us damn names. Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to Is this a bad time? With you? Like, Never. Why? Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? What's your so uncle what was like? Your was uncle he like? an uncle dad? Oh boy. With your mother? Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. Yes, threesome on the dead people. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. What does it say on your <sighs> uncle's grave? Um, it says William Thomas Collins. Kidding. That's his clinket name. Sue Cockanique. It means being trained and taught. Sukakanik? Folks were dead on the money with that one. One of a handful of old dogs who could still learn new tricks. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Oh, I'm curious about many things. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. Let's see what they say. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. She's always been jealous because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains, so. Oh man, you two are such a pair. Well, anyway, I... girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juno's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. Alright. Where's the mother's fucking grave? Oh, I can go over here? Is this little area? Yeah. 
Oh, there. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Well, Allison, only a few come steps back. In, and I'm already starting to regret this. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's Hello. in the way. I'm Who are you? That afterwards. Oh. You and I had a moment over there by the I totem, see you there. right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I'm creeping. I'm creeping. You two know each other. Welcome to Delos Crossing, where even the beavers have to shop at the Beckys. Isn't Tessa over here too? Where's she at? Hi. No dice. Is it over here? What? Got a thing, but it's like X'd out. She's got to be here somewhere. Ah, uh, this one's still not the one. <laughs> this is one side. Hey, that's the what? That's our mother. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. They're also pretty young, though. Tessa? And those were like adult issues. Oh god, she just fucking appeared! Ah! I, I wasn't expecting to see. Acted like she didn't see us. What are you? What are you doing here? Are those for our mother? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe. Flowers on there. Tessa, were you dicking mom? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. And the memories. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on her mother. I, I... I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... I mean, to be fair, the mom did point a shotgun at Tyler and say, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, she was gone. She wasn't all there. This <laughs> seems pretty serious. We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. Oh, shit. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine. She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. 
She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just oh. ask Sam Kansky <laughs> how much better that would have been for everyone. Oh, Wait, what? Shit. I. Whoa. Oh, God. What happened between them? Oh. I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Sam was Tessa. speaking, Mom. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. Is Mom taking everyone? I'm sorry. You too, Kids. Tessa. My gosh. Damn, you destroyed our family. Whoa, for the drama. <laughs> Typical. Running away when things get tough. I don't buy that Mary Ann pushed you away. You turned your back on her. And now you're making excuses. Like always, you destroyed our family. You don't even have the decency to admit it. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. Because I don't deserve <laughs> your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have she to got, know something She does first. have money. She has Are you two good businesses. Who I am. You went through a very challenging time, and anyone could come out on the other side confused. Is There's Sam help dead? available out there if you'll take it. Keep your help. So that's it then. We're done because I believe something different than you. No, it's because you don't believe in me. I see. Then I guess there's nothing more to say. Guess not. Yeah, she does be. She does look you warm in that coat, hurt though. Your children. Hey, I know that was hard, but you did the right thing. Come on. I was gonna say let's shit on Tessa's grave, huh? but wait, that was. she's alive. Well, if you feel like saying I told you so, she doesn't need to now be though. The time. Everyone in our lives back then, none of them really gave a shit about us. Sorry, I I didn't mean. It's okay. I mean, we had to force the truth out of Eddie too. But at least he took care of us. I get now why you're so pumped to go to Juno. You know, a part of me really thought I'd come here and everything would be exactly the same. Ignorance is bliss, right? You can say that again. That's uh, interesting. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in Fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... Oh, I yeah. stole your life, Tyler. Test out our new knife. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? 
Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Exactly, like pineapple Maybe on she pizza. Was too like proud, there, there are things you can disagree on. She worked so hard for so long. But if you like think I'm an abomination, rope, no thanks. No one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she she gave up. But killed her kids? Really? Oh, lick Tyler's <sighs> ear hole. Still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. It'll look more than his ear hole. <laughs> oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh Shit. my god! Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Do we have house insurance? Let it burn. Fuck it. Oh my god! So is that person real? They're just like a real person? Tyler, are you all right? Uh, I was in the barn. Stay there. I got it. Oh boy. That's totally Tessa. I don't know. Can Tessa run that quick? It's mom. It's her husband. There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. Maybe what Sam. Guy? He would like what did looked he look all like? creeped out at, in this uh, sure. barn. I couldn't see straight. Earlier, and he was all in black. God, why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. He went looking under the rug. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Did he really have to smash everything? They're looking for... Well, if they're looking for something, did they find it and then burn it down? Well, at least he left us the junker. I'll even dump the drawers. Everything's on the floor. Huh. At least you were spared. Maybe it's an unrelated robbery. <laughs> the moon hag. Oh shit, nice. I don't think it is. I just remember Sam freaking out in here earlier. Is there anything on the outside? Damn broken door. Let him right in. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? Mm. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. What are you doing? 
Oh, where's the damn footprints? Oh. I thought these were footprints. Okay, fucking Allison! The trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. You think he followed it down to the lake? Yeah, I mean, if he'd gone the other way, he'd have come right back to the house. There's a thing, though. You think he followed it down to the lake? Yeah, I mean, if he'd gone the other way, he'd have come right back. No hesitation. He knew where he was going. Did our, like, this house get broken into? Do you remember anything about his face? I couldn't see it. He had a hood on. Just like we left it. Oh, what's over here? Nothing. So? Still no sign of him. Why would they go back into the house? Unless they're gonna like murder us. Michael? Oh god. No. Nothing's been forced open. So he didn't try to get into the house at all. He didn't try to get in here. Guy. Wait, can we get down there? You'd run away, would not sleep there after that, right? I'd be scared too. Go to a hotel or something. Stay with Michael. Unless it's him. Oh. Hey, see that. are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. He's long gone. Let's go inside and make <laughs> some hot chocolate. What do they want me to do? You still hurting? Nah. Worst case, I've got a nasty bruise. Are they gonna call Uncle Eddie? Oh, yeah, what about Eddie? He went looking under the rug? He went looking under the rug? Yeah. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? I think I tried yeah. to click this earlier, but it, it clicked the rug. I think this instead. is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? Right? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Okay. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Hmm. Or I didn't click the second one part. One of the valuable stuff's missing. Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. Bird chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. <sighs> Great. More to clean. It, God, he really this turned bitch. this place. There's like 50 down. million tools you can use. Just grab one. There, that's a good one. I guess we know how he made the hole. Back. I'll be fine. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. 
What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The Secret Keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Let's find out to the second. I watched her until the stalwart... Well, let me read the whole damn thing. All right, the goblins earned their voice. Once upon a time, in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of Thoris had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels off their heads? Let's find out, said the second, and so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose come, came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into the stalwart moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose for the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, wait, they have the like mind speaking. Um, did they like, like if they put it in the story, I guess the mom would just think it's probably creative if she doesn't know about it. A few later said moose, did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The moose nodded and plodded along uh, the tra down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes for he knew goblins were up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently and the moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. No, 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 no. Go back. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper. Her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess. And the secret keeper nodded. This is how the goblins came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside toward... <laughs> Mommy Kelly, please read us the apple story again. Reading like she's defusing a bomb for the first time. Dude, I, half of this is like irrelevant. You like story time? The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she uh, stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into a misty sky. They reached out and they just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories and they snatched their hands back out as if they had just thrust them into boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, seethed the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange? We'll give you back the silver-handled brush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets, psh, you'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the, blah, 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 said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of voice. The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. The crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wooden house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind. They found it was blank. They tried to speak to her... Um, using their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than that. Well, what's the fucking code, bitch? All right, let's see. One, three, okay, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I don't need to figure it out. That did it. What would I do without you guys always putting the answers? <laughs> All right. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. It's just on the page, okay. I just want to read the story at least. I was gonna look at the page next and the pictures. All right, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chased after all the new girls in Dallas Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I've done doing 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Fuck. That's rough. 
Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel like you'd make a great mother, and I don't this doubt you will someday. To push but right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. Even though she wanted My marriage to keep hasn't us. been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly, I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. There are numbers on the page. A few of you have been saying what to do before I have to do it every, every like, the last the three hell? things we've had to so, do. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. So, I... I think he was wearing fishing gear. Fishing gear? Does that mean... Let's not jump to any conclusions. Half the town's probably got the same gear. Weird memory. Wait, but the thing's gone. Out of all the ways he could have said hello. What the hell? That's when we like cried for Allison and she came out with the scissors. Then we went this way. Okay, what are we supposed to look at with this though? <laughs> okay, so not what? This is the worst memory. forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. What? How many fucking times do I need to look at the goddamn memory? Uh, I just... Uh, this is where I trip. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> we watched it like five times. The Mad Hunter. Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just. I, I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? Person we just saw? Maybe they're related. We don't have any reason to go out there. I was on edge. Why would anyone want to torch the barn? I mean, we have it's been going around there. asking a lot of questions. Questions people don't seem to want to answer. Get the memory sure, thing over person? here. What could a spook somebody up there? That bad? I don't know why we'd go back up. Over there? The Mad Hunter! What? No. That. That was the Mad Hunter. They have a knife or what? scissors? What are you talking about? That night. I. 
thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the there woods. Would be the but I guess got, it was just some asshole. Somehow we need some to find asshole out who just fucking who the stood is. there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, and how it had to, to be story. him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? That sounds peaceful. A few no. days before Marianne died? Maybe. Hold on. Do you feel that? My dad's a forest troll. Oh, God. No. Do you feel that? Where is it? Over here. Finally! Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock. About us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Damn guilt trip. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Damn! What the hell was- How can you say that to me? Did he not mean I to didn't. think it? I didn't. What? But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Let's be real. The, the politician probably is our dad. That's why Tessa's like, oh, she's fucking married, man. Blah. <laughs> oh, I can finally investigate. Sometimes they're like, don't come up. Or like, I mean, this one I just looked at way enough, I don't think. We can do it. I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll try. Yeah, do they, what if they have intrusive thoughts? Like, I should stab my sister right now. Even though you don't really want to. Shut. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Tom? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close.
I know we know that voice. It, it, it was. <sighs> Pretty sure. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. I feel like knowing would be worse for Allison, though, right? Because, like, then if Allison stabbed the mom... I don't know, man. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! Like the chief. You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? Interesting, interesting. Uh... She got stabbed in the back. Yeah, she kind of did. Like, it was on the side, but, like, it was in the back. <laughs> but you could still stab someone that way from the front, I would assume. Um, that was different than the- what? So like, this is a different memory than like, when she was saying that to Tyler. I need to digest that. You guys, I am gonna go. I'll leave the ending screen up so you guys can discuss it. Um, but thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night or day. Yeah, right. I have so many more questions. <laughs>